My name is Michael Bjorn. I work in Ericsson Consumer and Industry Lab. I would like to talk to you a little bit about the Internet of Senses tech journey. That journey actually starts with telephony. Now with the pandemic, we are in the era of telework. But research shows that the social aspect of meetings suffer badly. In order to achieve full telepresence, we need to improve the senses we have already put online. Lars Magnus Ericsson started this journey with the telephone. And I believe it is our destiny to continue it. I am Rafia Inam from Ericsson Research Shista in the research area artificial intelligence. We are working on multiple AI and machine learning algorithms to provide safety and trustworthiness for these connected intelligent machines. Connected intelligent machines mean AI based intelligent machines capable of making decisions themselves, and that's why they're also called autonomous agents. Hello, I'm Kaushik Dev from Ericsson Research, and I'm the research leader for the machine learning group in India. Our research centers around enabling such machines to operate autonomously, whereby they can cooperate with each other towards a joint goal and also have robust mechanisms to resolve conflicts with other robots. My name is Raman Chirikov and I'm talking to you from Stockholm. Here I manage the Ericsson Research IoT program, which focuses on digitalization of the physical world. So we need to build more and more bridges between the physical reality and the digital representation. My name is Edgar Ramos. I do research in IoT technologies and cyber physical systems. I am looking on how to make the artificial intelligence more accessible to everyone and everything. My name is Jan Spamoli and I've been working for over 26 years at Ericsson and soon 14 years at Ericsson Research, where I'm now working with sustainability research. Ericsson is on a technology journey, but also on a sustainability journey. So, and so am I. And the possibilities uh, uh, with ICT in across all society is endless, really. So, see you in the future on our sustainability and technology journey. We are only in the beginning. Yeah, the, the idea behind limitless connectivity is that no matter what you want to do, no matter what your son wants to do, mm. the connectivity should not limit him. The limitations should come from elsewhere. My name is Mekhan Porzendi. I am part of the Ericsson Security Research and uh, I work uh, particularly in 5G uh, security. Uh, I believe the security is very important for the future uh, networks and without a secure approach, we could not expect people to adopt these technologies. My name is Saneda Bulgarakis Finya and I'm a research leader in artificial intelligence. At Ericsson, we believe that the future networks will be AI-driven and cognitive in nature. Hi, my name is Klaus Heiser. I've been an AI researcher at the Brazilian site of Ericsson Research since it started in 2015. Currently, I have the opportunity to be the manager of the Zero Touch Network Automation Research Program. My name is Alma Tarfa. I work at Ericsson Ireland in SAOSS, and I'm an engineer on a team that focuses on customer trials. We are a team of data scientists and software developers who are continuously getting insights and discovering new things about how the network breeds. My name is Wolfgang Jon, and I'm sitting here in my home just outside Stockholm and working on realizing our research vision of a network computer fabric. So with the network compute fabric, we want to further increase the society reach and opportunities of future network platforms. So as a result, the network would be able to offer fluid and dynamic computing possibilities on top of connectivity. My name is Gabor Nemeth and I work for Ericsson Research in Budapest, Hungary, currently focusing on what does our vision of the network compute fabric mean for industry automation. Hello, I'm Daniel Geberger, working for Ericsson Research as a senior researcher in Montreal, Canada. We believe that the network compute fabric will provide an end-to-end -end unified foundation of 6G by seamlessly integrating applications storage with the network itself. I'm Mika Komu, senior researcher from Ericsson Research, Jorvas, Finland. Network compute fabric means to me that the network infrastructure is providing computational capabilities for mobile devices so that they can offload for instance 
virtual reality and augmented reality. My name is Rainer Robert and I work as a researcher in the Cloud System and Platform Research Area. I want to see what can be achieved once connectivity, compute and storage are integrated into the network compute fabric. In the end, the marketplace will be a one-stop shop where the application developer could get all the resources they need for their applications.